What's going on guys, Orzio here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the newly released Moments Renato Sanchez card to review. A card that looks amazing all rounded and a card that requires zero chemistry to complete. I cannot believe the requirements for this SBC. He is so cheap and he looks so good. He's got 96 pace with 98 dribbling, 91 shooting, 89 defending, 94 passing and 95 physicals. He is a 5 foot 9 player with high high work rates. 5-star skill moves and a 4-star weak foot. It's always nice to see Renato Sanchez with 5-star skill moves. Now the chem style, it really does depend how you want to use the card. So if you want him to be better defensively, Anger chem style is the way to go. But if you want him to be better going forward, then the Hawk chem style is the way to go. The anchor is just so good for this card because it maxes out his pace and also increases the defending stats a real nice amount while also increasing the physical stats a real nice amount as well. The shooting stats are top tier. 95 attacking positioning, 88 finishing, 99 shot power, 93 long shots, 85 volleys, and 85 penalties as well. Those shooting stats for a midfielder, very solid. Uh, shooting traits. He's got one outside foot shot trait. Would have wished for the finesse shot trait, but you can't ask for everything. The passing stats look amazing. The dribbling stats look unreal. I'm definitely expecting Renato Sanchez to feel incredible on the ball. The fact that he's now got five star skill moves as well is just going to take him to a whole new level. The defending stats look top tier with the anger chem style applied. The physicals just look stupid. Like, look at them 99 jumping, 98 stamina, 99 strength, and 99 aggression. I can just tell how he's going to be in that midfield. He's He's going to be just going up to players and just pushing them, pushing them out the way with that 99 strength he has got. Now the links, Portuguese, PSG, come on. You know what I mean? Like, the links are outrageous. You can get a nice little strong link with Kempembe. You get that strong link to Neymar. You get that strong link to Mbappe. If we're talking about the Portuguese nationality, obviously, we got Ruben Diaz. We got Cancelo. We got CR7. There's obviously Joao Felix, team of the season card as well. There's so many good Portuguese players in this game, and there's so many good PSG players in this game as well. So the links are not an issue. The links are outrageously good. Now, when it comes down to positions, I am going to be playing Ronaldo. Renato Sanchez in that sentiment position for the majority of the review, but I want to switch him to a Hawk chem style for like maybe the last two games or maybe the last game just to get a few goals when I'm playing him in that striker position. Because when I review Furlan Mendy and Barella, oh yeah, Furlan Mendy's right here. When I reviewed this card, I put him in a striker position because I wanted to see how he was going to play there. So I'm going to do the exact same thing with Renato Sanchez in the last game just so we can get a few goals, so we can get a few more shots inside that box as well. So yeah, let's get into the review and let's see how good this card's going to be. Renato Sanchez, hold him off, please. There you go. I mean, he didn't really like full on hold him off, but he did well just to protect the ball. Let's go for a few dribbles here, see how he feels on the ball. I can see already the ball is sticking to his feet. He is not letting go of that ball at all. Accelerate into the space. He's got Renato Sanchez as well. So if he puts in any crazy tackles or even scores a goal with him, I definitely will show you guys that. He's going to try to give this into Neymar. He's trying. Renato Sanchez, don't allow that to happen. There you go, man. Really good tackle. He's going to go forward there. There you go. That's the high attacking work rate coming into play. There's definitely something you're going to notice in that sentiment position. He is going to be a player that's not going to be scared to go forward. He is going to make a bit of movement going forward. Let's pass that into the space there. Quick ball roll scoop. There you go. We got the angle. Green timed as well. It needs to go in. No way. It doesn't even get on target. Really? That's a very good angle as well. Flick it on Neymar. There you go. That's one way of flicking on. I was not expecting a bicycle kick. Ball roll around him. Perfect. His dribbling is so good, man. Like the ball just sticks to his feet, as you guys clearly can see. Quick Elastico maybe? Nah, that is not the Elastico. That is uh, a few step overs. He's going to try to take us on. He is. Okay, yeah. No, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen against Renato Sanchez. I'll be honest, I thought he was going to get it when he was very close to the ball, but it looked like he didn't even lock onto the ball. That's an EA issue, though. That's, I don't know, this game just messing up a little bit. But yeah, we ended up getting the ball eventually. He's not going to be able to do that against Renato because Renato's got that pace to catch up to someone like Dembele. Need a passing option, but he's covering that pass into Yedda. I'm just going to give it a cross into Renato. Very good pass. Let's go for a power shot. Green timed as well. Honestly, I thought I was going to go straight into that corner. The amount of power behind that was outrageous. But once again, not even on target. And I green timed that one as well. Good interception. Can I play that ball down the line? Yeah, that's a perfect ball. He's running in. Hold on a second. Take that touch. Nice dribble. Few step overs. 
I'm telling you guys, like, the dribbling is so good on him. No way, Cafu. There's no way he tackles us halfway through a roulette. I'm going to go for a switch. I play here. Renato Sanchez, can you play that pass? Obviously, you can. Look at that. Just perfect. On to Dembele. You can't ask for a better pass. He's wide open again. My opponent is leaving him open way, way too much. And he misses the target again. Green timed. It doesn't go on target. Third time now. Third time. We find ourselves in a good position. But he just doesn't want to go in. Let me push out with Renato here. There you go. That's perfect. But unfortunately, we do not come out with a ball. The ball is bouncing everywhere. Can I move the keeper here? No, I can't. Like, there's not much we can do. You know, I get out to the player nicely with Renato. You're just using that pace there. And then it just bounces straight off us. Win that Renato. Shield him off. There you go. Nice use of strength there. Just using the step overs to get that acceleration going. I'm going to take it early. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. That, that is more like it. That's what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for. What is that? What a finish. Top corner. Power was ridiculous as well. That's what I was expecting. I was expecting those shots, not the other shots. This is 29 yards out. Renato Sanchez, what's your free kick accuracy? 83 free kick accuracy. 85 curve. 99 power. Why not? You know, why not? We might as well give it a go and see if it can go in. Go on, please. Green time. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Hold on. Renato. Attack it. Ah, oh, he missed it. Come on. Really? I, like, I was seeing that go top corner. I was about to get so excited. It's just, it just hits the top of the crossbar. Get in front of him, please. There you go. Quick ball roll scoop in the inside as well. And we're going to switch the play. Is it a good pass? Obviously, it's a good pass. Dembele, come on, man. No, Dembele just couldn't get himself to stand up again and run onto it. He did win it, though. He got the head off. He's going to give that into Ginola, right? There you go. Renato Sanchez. Look at the control. Reverse. Round the play and everything. That's disgusting. The control there was just unreal. I couldn't believe the ball stuck to his feet, especially with the amount of power that it came at him. I want to go for another finesse shot, but this is a little bit too far, especially. Hold on. This is decent, though. Crossbar. You can definitely tell his long shots are pretty decent, but they're not like anything crazy. Like so far, I definitely will say a player like Ferland Mendy and Barella have got better finesse shots than this Renato Sanchez card. Cancelo, no, that's a terrible touch. I need a passing option. I see Renato. I'm going to go for this. Please. Yep, once again. Perfect. Exactly where I wanted it. A few step overs. Pass into Neymar. No, Neymar was open as well. I'm going to push this. Hopefully he doesn't get that pass off. There you go. Renato Sanchez just uh, reaching out there, intercepting the ball. Can I play that pass as well? It wasn't to the right person. You guys saw Salah as well, right? You guys saw Salah wide open. Oh, I was safe from Allison. Surely he goes for a cutback. There's no way he continues, right? Yeah, there you go. Good tackle, Renato. I want to show you guys how quick his transition is. Like, just look how quick he is going left and right here. Like, look at this. He doesn't feel slow. He doesn't feel sluggish at all. He feels super fast. And Kempembe puts in an automatic tackle. Nice uh, ball roll scoop. Good few step overs. Play that pass in the gap. And that is a good pass. He's making a bit of movement there. No, if I got that ball roll off, yet is in. Yet is wide open. Let's go ahead and push towards him here. No pass in that middle. Renato Sanchez, can you get that? There you go. A few step overs to get in front of the player once again. I like how I can just go forward with him like this. Go for that through ball. Nice. Hold on. Oh, how c I'm going to go all the way back stick. There you go. Yeda, wide open. Needs to go in. Yeda ain't going to miss from there. I'm going to push towards him. He's got Renato Sanchez as well. My Renato Sanchez, though, puts he's onto the ground. Can I get that? I can't. No, I allowed him to cut into the inside there. I should not be allowing Messi on that left foot. I should have read that a little bit better. Look at Renato Sanchez's positioning here. Like, you see how... What was that? You see how he was pretty much playing in, like, the left centre-back role? I love that. Honestly, I love it. Because it allows me to uh, be comfortable that he's going to... That he's going to cover positions that I don't really see too much. Because I didn't notice Rudiger was not in that position. But like Renato Sanchez was just covering it for him. Is he going to try to take us on with Haaland? He does. And Renato Sanchez just collects the ball off him. Is he going to give down to Messi? He doesn't. He's doing all sorts of skill moves with his Renato Sanchez. That's like, what, two out of three now? People that's got Renato Sanchez in their team. I see him being in everyone's team. I'll be honest, you guys. Like... It's going to be ridiculous the amount of people that's going to have this card. He's going to pass up. He does pass up. I'm going to go in for the slide tackle. There you go. Get that ball as well. Perfect. That's a good run from Yedda. That's a good pass as well. 
Go for a quick skill move, give it into Renato Sanchez, and he's found himself in an amazing position. I have switched him now into a onto a Hawk Kem style, and uh, yeah, I've moved him into the striker position. So we are going to see a few more goals from him. Go on, Renato. Keep it going. Keep it going. You got that pace there. Easily getting behind. I'm going to go for an early finesse shot. Saying that he's now on that Hawk Kem style as well. I'm expecting his long shot to be better than what it was with the Anchor Kem style. The thing is, right, like that's a that's a decent angle. That's not like an amazing angle and it goes right into the corner. Yeah, they come feet. There you go. That's perfect. Renato Sanchez is on the floor for some odd reason. Go on, get in front of him. There you go. That was with his weak foot, but like it didn't even go right into the corner. And it still somehow went past Courtois. I think it might have gone under his legs. But what I'm really happy with there is the strength. The acceleration after the reverse Alaska as well. Like the strength to hold off a player like Rudiger. <laughs> Come on, we all know holding off Rudiger is not an easy job. So it is time to give my final thoughts on a card. We ended up playing four games with Renato Sanchez and we scored four goals. His shooting ability, when he was on the anchor chem stall, definitely wasn't anything like top tier. It definitely wasn't anything amazing. Like I felt like the long shots could have been way better. There was a power shot that he scored that was incredible. But then there were so many finesse shots that didn't even hit the target. And that's just disappointing to see on a player. That's got 93 long shots. But as soon as I applied the whole chem style, oh yeah, the shooting was way, way better. So there isn't like a correct chem style to go for. It really does depend on how you want to use him. If you want him to be better defensively, anchor is the way to go. But if you want him to be better going forward, then the whole chem style is the way because of that shooting increase. The pace amazing just straight up amazing so fast to get out the players catches up to everyone as well transition speed is amazing he feels so smooth he doesn't feel sluggish it's not like if you commit too uh, too hard to one side you can't really recover that quick no you can recover really quickly with renato sanchez see at a pace amazing passing ability there was only one pass that got screwed up only one other than that Every other pass was perfect, and I went for a lot of overtop free balls today as well. So yeah, the passing, amazing. Dribbling ability, he feels very good on the ball. I think there's no question about it. But does he feel as good as like Barella? Does he feel as good as Ferland Mendy? No. I feel like Ferland Mendy feels better. I feel like Barella feels better as well. But Renato Sanchez definitely feels solid on the ball. Like the left stick dribbling is amazing. The ball just sticks to his feet. And the skill moves as well. The skill moves come off very fast. Like you guys saw plenty of ball roll scoop turns. A few step overs in there as well. I did go for a few Mugidi spin cancels and they were quick on him as well. The defending ability, incredible incredible the thing is right because he's got 99 aggression and 99 strength he is just a defensive monster he goes up to players and just pushes them out the way and it's an absolute joke how good he's uh his physicality is like it's amazing and the standing tackling the interceptions were incredible as well like the interceptions it, it felt like it stuck to his feet the majority of the time. There was definitely some that it bounced off him, but that's just how it is in FIFA 22. You're not going to get a player that gets the ball you know stuck to his feet every single time sometimes the ball is gonna bounce and that definitely did happen a few times today but in most cases i feel like the ball was sticking to him and that's something i really did like to see love the defensive awareness defensive awareness with that high defensive work rate was amazing in that center mid position now the price issues because footbin have not uh got the price so i have tried to calculate it and i believe it's 120k but i'm gonna say 150k just in case just in case i miscalculated it so yeah 150k for renato sanchez 100 he is worth it he's two teams and it doesn't even require chemistry you can't go wrong you cannot go wrong you can do this card for free because of the 85 plus times 10 being repeatable three times per day like it's honestly insane how cheap he is and how good he is where does he go in the midfield tier list s tier 100 he is an s tier card but the real question is is he the best uh, league un centre mid? If we're looking at the midfielders in league un, we have Atal. He's better than Atal. We have Lucas Paqueta, team of the season. He's better than Lucas Paqueta. The only person that I see challenging him in the midfield as like a CDM is Kempembe. The thing about Kempembe, right? I prefer him in a CDM position because of the fact that he is a six foot two player. But if we're talking about centre mid, oh yeah, Renato Sanchez 100% is a better centre mid than Kempembe. I think he's the best league and centre mid in this game. I think there's no question about it. Is he better than Ferland Mendy? No. Is he better than Barella? 
it's a tough one. I think Barella is better going forward. I think there's no question about it. I think barella has got a bit more of an attacking presence because of how good his shooting is with like a Hawk Um, I think defensively though, Renato is better. I think defensively, Renato 100% is better because of the fact that he's got 99 strength. It just goes up the players and pushes them out the way. I don't think there's any other midfielder. N'Golo Kante? Ooh, that's a hard one, you know. That is a hard one. Renato Sanchez. I think N'Golo is probably better defensively, but going forward, ooh. Going forward, I think Renato Sanchez might just win it, you know. It's a close one between those two. It definitely is a close one between those two. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.